Alrighty, thanks guys. Well, these students inspire me and I know they'll inspire you too. So in that spirit, I'm going to read my letter from the 2020 Annual Impact Report and then tell you a little bit about our successes in 2021 and what's to come for 2022. A movement is fueled by its people, people that align in values, mission, and vision. Our people understands the urgency of addressing social injustice, avoiding environmental critical thresholds, and advancing economic innovation. Our people are fueled by a deep passion and they're restless for transformative change. Greenlight's mission begins as to educate and empower. I strive to embody that, challenging our people to realize their full potential and be the most effective sustainability leaders that they can be. Together, we achieved some huge milestones in 2020. We're experiencing great momentum. Our shared vision is compelling, our strategy has clarity, and our team's dedication is stronger than ever. Nothing worth fighting for is easy. I'm empowered by our team for their unwavering determination, the selfless sacrifice that it takes a small nonprofit to make change. The challenge is by no means discouraging. It's what energizes us and rewards us day after day. I honor the journey as we educate and empower our people to overcome our challenges, to grow our impact, creating an army of effective sustainability leaders across the globe. People used to ask me when I would let up, but now they understand that we're not going to stop. Shared fiery passion is a force to be reckoned with. It's only up from here, and I'm in deep gratitude to everyone that has gotten us this far. I challenge you to lead our movement forward. And cheers to the next, uh, to the next year of challenges, opportunities, and triumph. <clears throat> so this year has been just that, a lot of challenges, a lot of opportunities, and triumph. I'll give you a snapshot of our successes in 2021. 13 sustainability projects implemented in the community. This means that we helped 10 businesses go green and four of those businesses were repeat customers. We trained 51 students in sustainability project management using our green light guidelines project process, our project lead 101, our solutioneering 101, their professional swag bags, and the list goes on. We facilitated a workshop, um, a sustainability workshop for 80 students in non at Nanzan University in Japan. And we were awarded a grant from New Earth Foundation. So thank you, NEF. And this is in, uh, including all of our fundraising, outreach, program development. Uh, this is really just, uh, just the tip of the iceberg. And last but not least, we were awarded the 2021 Sustainable Nonprofit Award by Mayor Corey D. Woods and the City of Tempe uh, City Council. Woo! And for the upcoming year, I'll provide you with a couple teasers. First, we're coming out with our sustainability reporting dashboard, uh, named TVD. Um, this will help businesses to measure their data in waste, water, energy, and social impacts. And not only uh, uh, measure that data, but also provide resources and recommendations for how to improve your sustainability performance. Next, we're coming out with another program that will uh, further help our students be placed in impactful roles after graduation. <clears throat> And this is in partnership with InfoSoul, who is also our matching gift partner for Giving Tuesday. So thank you so much, InfoSoul. So the future is bright and we can't do it alone. So I'll note that partnerships, donations, corporate giving, sponsorships, you name it, this will allow us to increase our capacity and help more students and more businesses um, in the future. So reach out, support, collaborate, um, become a Green Light Glow monthly donor. So now I have the honor of introducing two of our new board members, uh, Chris Fioffi and Mashur Huck. 
Our third newest board member is Max Scott, and he is our keynote speaker as well. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for being here. And Michelle, you can take it away.